So you might be wondering where I'm gonna put this wrap as I'm gonna start driving soon. I got a little cup holder that I like to use. One of the oldest tricks in the book is bumping up your lease payment as soon as you ask them to go from 10,000 miles a year to 15,000 miles a year. And let me explain to you why. Typically on a lease, when they're calculating your lease payment, you got your residual. Let's say for instance, you're working on a BMW and the price of the BMW is about $40,000. Residual is at about 60%, meaning at the end of the lease, it's gonna be worth 60% of the window sticker price. That's calculated based on you driving it 10,000 miles a year. When you're trying to go from 10,000 to 15,000 miles a year, basically the dealer has an opportunity to tell you a number. Say, if you go up to 15,000 miles a year, the payment goes up 45 bucks, 50 bucks. He can basically throw a number out at you and see if you bite. The actual calculation is, is that usually when you go from 10 to 15,000 miles a year, the residual of the car goes down. 3%, as in the residual is 57% of the MSRP, window sticker price, at the end of the lease. So what you do is, that 3% change from 60 to 57, you take your window sticker price, you multiply it by 0 .03, that's $1,200 that the car is gonna be worth less because of the mileage. You take that $1,200, you divide it up by 36. That's only $33. But when the salesman tells you, he gives you like, a, like an estimate and you bite and he comes back and he gives you the payment at exactly that number that he sort of dished out at you. Do this math in front of him so that he knows that he shouldn't be irresponsibly telling you a quick number based on what he thinks it is. This formula applies on any car. So say you go from 10,000 to 15,000 on either like a Subaru or a Range Rover. You multiply the MSRP by the residual change. And usually when you go from 10 to 15,000 miles a year, it's a 3% residual change. So on a $100,000 Range Rover, to go from 10 to 15,000 miles a year will cost you $3,000. On a $30,000 Subaru, that's 0.3, it's gonna cost you 900 more bucks. You take this dollar amount, you divide it up by 36, and you add it to the lease payment quote that you receive for 10,000 miles a year. Try, try your best to confirm the actual mileage change instead of just asking them, give me a rough idea. Whenever they give you a rough idea, they could be horribly wrong. If you found this information useful and you think you'll end up putting it to the test on your next lease negotiation, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll really, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time.